Prime Minister Julia Gillard has spent her first full day in China attending high-level talks at the Bao Forum. Ms Gillard met with the head of the IMF discussing the global economy and opportunities for Australia in the Asian region. In China, to strengthen ties with the new leadership, Julia Gillard rubbed shoulders with business and political leaders, taking the opportunity to hold one-on-one -on -one talks with the International Monetary Fund director, Christine Lagarde. The IMF is verifying that we live in the growing region of the world. The Prime Minister using that affirmation to tell the government's economic story, whilst taking a swipe at the opposition's economic credentials after Julie Bishop criticised Labor's trade negotiations. It should have been a priority of this government. It hasn't been. In fact, the Minister for Trade even said that a free trade agreement with China was overrated. We continue in those discussions to bring a sophisticated understanding as opposed to the sort of uh, simple uh, talk, uh, you know, the kind of uh, uh, economic simpleton talk. Securing a free trade agreement between the two nations is one of the goals set out in the Asian Century White Paper. So is developing stronger business ties. But Australian mining magnate Andrew Forrest says the China-Australia relationship has been taken for granted. Perhaps now it's time to really lift our game and to say to China, we've always been your very good friends. Former Treasurer Peter Costello is also concerned, saying the Gillard government needs to send a message of stability to Asia. I want to play around with your rules on foreign ownership, play around with your rules on mining taxes, play around with your rules on superannuation. People outside the country will get suspicious. The Prime Minister will meet Xi Jinping here on the sidelines of the Boao Forum, but she'll have only half an hour with the President, and much of that will be taken up with talks on North Korea. The unpredictability of the situation is keeping the world watching on nervously. Laura Jays, Sky News, Hainan.